company is a super cool, super intense band from Austin. I talked to frontman Taylor Muse about their latest album, Transgressor. What's so different about Transgressor? Like, how has that kind of progressed with, uh, as from your earlier stuff? Uh, I think Transgressor is our most mature record. It's our most collaborative as well. Mm-hmm. Like we arrange the songs together. Uh, whereas in their older stuff, I would kind of bring in a demo that was really fleshed out, like where I played all the instruments already. Yeah. And every every record that we have done, we've kind of it's gotten a little bit more collaborative. We used a producer, Matt Noveski from Blue October. Hey guys, this is Matt from Blue October. I really, honestly, truly believe in this band, and I think that their live show is one of the best live shows I've ever seen. And we and then we went and recorded it all live. So it, we just did like a song a day for like 14 days. It was recorded live? Yeah. Oh, wow. We've always kind of been told that our live show is like really energetic. So we've, we've always liked that. It would always be this kind of weird, man, your records are good, but your live show is like so much like better, you know? Amazing. And we were, and we were just kind of tired of hearing that. So we thought, well, let's go we'll record just- the whole damn thing live, you know? And so that's kind of why we did that. And I think it captures the energy a lot better. Yeah. Um, at South by, you went on this like political rant. There's all these like stigmas about whenever bands like go political and then people are like, Oh, before they got all political. Yeah. Like, and, but people only feel that way when a band feels differently than they do. They're not really mad that you are getting political. Yeah. They just don't like that. You're challenging what they think because they like you and they, they're like, Oh man, if I was like, like me, I'm like, well, no, I'm not like you. I'm like me. Yeah. I have my own, I'm an actual person over here. Yeah. I'm not just, I'm not the CD that you put in your player. Like, I mean, you can't really separate yeah. the artist from the art all the time. Like, you, your songwriting is how you feel, then, like, why wouldn't that include politics, you know? I just, I think that this election is just... It's crazy. It's not really going the way I want it to go. I'm trying not to be, like, pessimistic about it, but I don't really know like, yeah. how much more of a chance we really have to make it go the way I want it to go. To fight! For real economic and social change. And on the other side of the aisle, it's just like, it's just a clown car full of disaster. I could stand in the middle of Fifth Avenue and shoot somebody and I wouldn't lose any voters, okay? I would bomb the <laughs> out of them. I'm really rich. I'll show you that in a second. I know. You know, and, <laughs> and it'd be hilarious if there wasn't so much at stake, you know? Like, we're not going to wake up tomorrow, and this has all just been an elaborate, like, uh, SNL skit. Also, P.S. America, I have a great, big, huge dick. (laughs) This is actually happening. Yeah. And it's terrifying. Check out their website and follow them on Twitter, at Quiet Company Texas. Just a TX on the end. I'm Emily Treadgold, and as always, you can read the full article on thenew9.com.